Hello and welcome to Buy a Vet. Today we're going to look at a 1970 red convertible. Code correct, matching numbers. And we'll go around the body and uh, check it out. This is what I call a good driver paint. Not a great paint, not a show paint, but a good driver paint. Yes, there are flaws and I'll point them out. It's an older paint that's on the uh, Corvette. There's a, uh, start off with, there's uh, some chips out of here. Uh, we can move on along. It's got great fiberglass body lines all the way around. It's uh, that's something to always look at to make sure that the seams are the same, top and bottom. Excellent the way the hood fits. A little cracking in the paint. I don't know if you can see that with the camera but you're starting to get cracks all in the high area of the paint on the top ridge. You know, I call it uh, maybe a six foot paint, six feet away, you don't see it, but when you get up close, you can. Moving around, the chrome on the bumper is excellent. Good fit with the headlights pop-up headlights and yes they do work we make sure everything of safety lights turning signals headlights high and low dimmer are all working a little stress crack here so a little you can see all the little specks in the paint and some little cracks in the paint it may be there for another 10 years like that if you don't repaint it but want to point that out now these are stainless steel and this is supposed to be painted red just like the other small trim is painted red you can see some flanking some people when they painted the cars they they thought it looked nice to have this extra metal exposure but that is not correct so if you want to make it correct and you want to think about painting or either just paint this to match the car but uh, this is your pop-up disappearing head wipers that was uh, on the 68 through 72 it works off a of vacuum I'll show you on the inside how that works but uh, when you turn on the windshield wipers the tray by vacuum comes up and then the wipers pop out uh, side door fit and finish very good the top is getting old it's it appears that it just hasn't been used but it's getting old and when they get old they start to draw up and pull a new top would overlap this correctly and you can see how this is and you can also see the back where there's some stain all around so for seven hundred dollars with purchase of the car we can go ahead and put a top on it for you if you like some people like the patina of the old look but that's uh, your call. The uh, fit on the uh, top cover is good. The chrome is good. I wouldn't say perfect. It's an older chrome, but it still looks very good on the car. And I don't think I would, uh, if I did any paint job, I'm not so sure I'd replace the chrome. It's too nice. Okay, uh, let's go inside and, and look. It's uh, got uh, weather stripping that appears to be in uh, decent condition. The seats are correct style and are correct for the car. The uh, showing really nowhere. Seat belts. Of course, functioning. The carpet, um, take the mat out. You can see the carpeting is in beautiful condition. Steering wheel is free of any cracks. The dash pad is in beautiful condition. A lot of the older cars, they sit out in the sun and the vinyl tends to crack, but uh, these are in excellent condition. Gauges are clear and uh, center console all looks good. No damage over here. Usually you see those crack, but that's in excellent condition. And uh, the correct shifter that came with uh, the Corvette. And all gauges work except for the clock. 
which is so common. But if you want the clock fixed, we can uh, quote you on that. And what I recommend, if you want accuracy, go with the uh, new quartz replacement to the mechanical clock that came with it. Although the facing and everything will appear the same, but when you replace it with a quartz, you'll see that the needle kind of notches, you know, like a Rolex watch, and uh, where the old mechanical was a smoother sweep. But uh, that's how I recommend, because even the when they were new, they didn't exactly keep accurate time. Might be five minutes off per day, and you don't want to mess around with that. Plus, the uh, quartz re requires so little electricity to keep it going. Let's uh, pop the back hatch area. And Lonnie, if you'll assist me to pop the top. The rear compartment needs some cleaning and uh, replacement to the carpet, which it's scheduled to be done. Uh, it's got original manuals and everything inside the car that comes with it. As you can see. And uh, let's see, the top, how does it work? Works good and the latches work good. And then you just push down like that to lock. So anyway, that's, uh, that's a rundown. Let me show you about a, the VIN number while I'm talking on the telephone. You always want to check the VIN plate to make sure that the VIN plate is original to the car. And uh, it is. And then let me show you something on the other side where you can check some numbers. Getting a little tangled up in our microphone cord. Well, I got it locked. Let's go around the other side and I'll show you the trim tag. And then we'll do the engine compartment. This is the original trim tag for the car and this tells you what uh, color interior it had, whether it was vinyl or leather, and it also tells you the color of the interior and the paint code and this is correct for the car. It is a red with black vinyl interior. Up underneath, well, somebody might have tried to dress it up a little bit. I personally don't like to see little things like a chromed alternator or the wrong color wires. They're supposed to be black. That's because I'm, I guess, more of a purist and like to see it original, but that's so simple to change out. It's got a, uh, it's got a uh, recent replacement master cylinder. Uh, the fan clutch seems to be in excellent condition. Radiator appears to be original. It does have the air conditioning over there, although it is not currently connected up. And if somebody wants us to make it work, then that would be additional. As the top goes down on a convertible, the air conditioner is not so important because even when the air conditioner is working perfect in a convertible, uh, it's almost like uh, counterproductive because uh, you still get a lot of air leaks around where the top meets the glass and meets the rear deck. And uh, your face can be uh, cold, but the back of your head can be warm. So. It's your call if you want uh, to get the air conditioner fixed, but uh, again, like I say, it's, uh, it uh, was weak at best in a convertible. And that's pretty much a rundown of uh, the car. I can show you where the uh, numbers must match on the block. There's date code stamp, casting stamp, but this is the, what they call the stamping pad, and this is designates the horsepower, designates that it's a Corvette engine, and then down below is where they stamp the VIN number in. So with that, give it serious consideration. It's a very nice car. It could use a little bit to bring it up to a show car, 
But as I say, it's a very nice driver. It's got good bones. It's got a beautiful frame, very good fiberglass. And uh, it's been a well taken care of car as opposed to one that might have fallen on bad times and then somebody just put a quick uh, fix up and uh, new paint on it. This is not that kind of car. This is a good solid Corvette that will go up in value. And uh, if you still want to put a little money into it and fixing a few little items, it's well worth it. Thank you very much.